Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another deck collection review. So I thought it would be fun to put all these decks together that I have from Diana Cooper um, and we're all ascending right now and we're all trying to vibrate as high as possible and remain connected and we're all ascending and these are all decks to accelerate your journey um, and you can really learn a lot with her decks. Um, so I have four of her decks. I know in, I think in the early 20. 21 she's coming out with an archangel oracle deck which i cannot wait for i already have it on pre-order i will definitely post a close-up review of that when i get it um, but these four decks i've had for quite a while i've done close-up reviews of them on my channel individually if you want to see each card um, but what i'm going to do here is just give you an overview of the four that i do have that i absolutely love um, one of them is the Angels of Light Oracle deck, and I think this was the first one I have, and I have to say it's my personal favorite of hers, Angels of Light. I use it a lot on the channel. You'll recognize that. I'll show you the cards. Um, the next one I think I got was the Ascension cards, um, Beautiful Accelerate Your Journey to the Light. Then I got the Keys of the Universe cards, which it was fabulous, and then I got the Orbs cards. So I will go through each deck give you an overview, um, but she has done countless oracle decks, Diana Cooper, on the subject of ascension, working with the rays of light, working with archangels, angels, um, and they're also really knowledgeable. You can learn a lot, and not just with her oracle deck, she also has countless books out there on the subject. Um, yeah, so when I think about ascension, when I think about working with rays of light, um, and all of that, I definitely, she definitely comes to my mind um, when recommending decks because as you can learn a lot from her guidebooks. You can learn a lot from her books. Um, her decks are of a different vein than a lot of the decks that you see on the market. Um, they're really great for the ascension process, like I had said before, with your journey of expanding your spiritual knowledge. And she talks more about rays of light. She talks more about specific archangels really in depth. Um, she has a lot of the history going back to, I mean, Akashic, um, the Akashic fields, uh, all this knowledge, um, and a lot of ascension knowledge that, um, you know, is not really mainstream in a lot of the oracle decks that you find. So these are four that I do have. Like I said before, she has countless ones up there um, that are available. I'll put all the just, you know, the links and how you can find her decks and also mention the new one, uh, the Archangel deck that's coming out that I have on pre-order. I will definitely, definitely show. But so let's get into it. I mean, Angels of Light, like I said, this was the first one I got from Diana Cooper. I adore this deck. Um, I believe they're 50, how many? I think they're like 52, I will tell you in a second. I think it's on the inside, 52, yeah. 52 Angel of Light cards. And I just love it. I love, 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 love these cards. Um, they're very on target. So how most of her cards work. You don't, with the Angels of Light, you're not gonna get a guidebook. Uh, you'll just get an intro, introduction card, introduction card to how you can use these cards. So it is going to be this beautiful image on the backs of the cards of this Angel Light, definitely Angel of Light. Um, so the, this Angels of Light deck, I adore this deck. I use it a lot, you'll recognize it on the channel. The top, it will give you a keyword light and it's the full message right here from the angel and it will say an affirmation, I am light. How perfect. So just to give you an example, you have light illuminates darkness and gloom, bringing hope and inspiration. Ask the angels to fill you with more light for it contains spiritual information and knowledge. There are keys to the universe. Look at this, keys to the universe. Um, these are keys to the universe and bring love and peace as well as unlocking the wisdom within you. As your light becomes stronger and clearer, you will find clarity and purpose. You will radiate brightly and become a beacon, reminding others of the divine help available. Angel wisdom suggests you ask the angels to ignite and strengthen the divine flame within you. Do you see how you drink it in the vein in which it is? And then you have the affirmation, I am light. So I'm not gonna show you every card because if you wanna see a close-up review, you can go to my channel and see each and every card. And I also do a bonus reading. But just to give you the example, here you'll have self-worth, a beautiful angelic, message and an affirmation I am confident and worthwhile and let me tell you you do a reading you shuffle the cards see what falls out you'll be amazed at how on target it is um, acceptance a beautiful message the affirmation so there are 52 loving angels of light messages here um, I even love the wings on the side 
um, that you see positivity, a beautiful angelic message, and the affirmation. I love when there are affirmations. I am pro positive and strong. So you read the whole angelic message and you have this affirmation. So these are lovely, lovely, lovely cards. Aspiration. Oh, I see wisdom is peeking out here. Wisdom. You'll have the angelic message and it says, I listen to my wisdom. Um, so I use these cards all the time. I use them on the channel all the time. I just love Angels of Light. So I believe it was my first deck that I bought from her. And it's one that I use the most frequently of all of them, I have to say. So this was the deck that has 52 cards. So Angel of Light, I think this is like the really, really beautiful. I use it all the time. I, I, I love, love, love this deck. So that was Diana Cooper, Angels of Light cards. And it slides out kind of packaging. And again, I have the close-up review on my uh, channel if you want to see everyone. Let's go right. I'm skipping around, though. But Ascension cards, accelerate your journey to the light. Talk about, like right now, this deck you could really learn a lot. Um, again, she's, they're saying author of a new light on Ascension. This is like her subject matter. So if you want to dive deeper into that, I would definitely, um, you know, look into her oracle cards, look into the books that she's written. I mean, it's just, you really learn a lot. I remember spending a rainy weekend curled up reading more about um, some decks, uh, some books that she has. Um, this also has 52 cards in it. And this is really connecting with, again, like Ascension Energy, Ascended Masters. Um, this is just so... Yeah, it's like a different vein, I want to say, than most. This does have a guidebook. Uh, so this will have a really thick guidebook. You'll want to just sit with this guidebook. Um, you know, it goes on depth on each archangel to a degree that you don't find in many other decks. Um, her knowledge is just off the charts. Then she has the rays of light. Like, which light are you working with, you know? Ray 11 is the ray of clarity, mysticism, healing. It entered the planet at the end of 2001, and she gives you the color. Um, you see what I'm saying? It's like ray 12 is the ray of unconditional love. The color is bright pink. Um, this is... it. Look, it, it entered the planet in 2003. This is the kind of knowledge that you can get out of goosebumps because you really feel like you're um, touching a frequency that you don't really find in a lot of Oracle decks is what I find personally with her decks. Um, it's a different frequency. I remember, I think, I, maybe I was working with this deck. I, I was getting chills. It was like a rainy weekend when I really was working with this deck. I got chills. I felt very connected. The reading I got was like, um, very similar to when I get a direct spirit message, you know, those t the tone that you're connecting with. Um, that's how the deck, the reading it gave me, it was like a download. I felt um, it, it resonated with me in the same tone of when I get a direct spirit message. I almost can't explain it, but that was the kind of energy of the Ascension cards to me. Um, you turn it over, and this will have like Archangel Retreats. Again, the message, the full message is right here, and then there's an affirmation. I visit Archangel Blank in my sleep tonight, but Archangel Retreats. So this is one of the most effective ways to accelerate your extension, is to visit Archangel Retreats during your sleep. So this is going on about all of this. So you get a lot of knowledge. I will say this is a deck, you know, some of these... Um, keywords up here I had no idea when I got this deck what she was referring to of course Jesus I do but um, some of the things you I, I didn't even know of um, and it is just beautiful there's a lot about Atlantis in here um, you know I love nature the nature kingdom was created from the heart of God and it goes into this whole thing you know to honor nature's beauty and life force um, yes, and that's why we're so rejuvenated and we are divinely connected when we lose and find ourselves in nature. I get that all the time. Lose and find yourself in nature. You connect to spirit. I thank, bless, and love the entire nature kingdom. Um, Sirius, you have fire dragons. It's all these um, air. The element of air supports truly magical cosmic qualities. Um, it goes into a whole guide, a whole thing. I invoke air to carry angels singing around the world and bring hope and peace. It's just really beautiful. The 12 chakras, she also explains, you know, we hear about the seven chakras, but there are 12 chakras. You learn a lot about chakras. You learn about a lot about rays of light. Um, so she talks about the 12 chakras and it says following the fall of Atlantis, five of our 12 chakras closed. 
and ascension starts when we once more activate our 12 fifth dimensional chakras. This begins to reconnect the 12 strands of DNA so that we can reclaim our true and spiritual and psychic gifts. And I think between you and I, I think that's what's happening now as we're ascending, why we're getting, we're, they kept on saying to me, you're, all your clear abilities are getting more clear. I've been getting that for like the last couple of years, especially now, because we're relying on it more. We're relying more on our divine connection. We have to tap in for those divine ideas and then carry it out here. Like we're, we're grounding higher love here. I kept on getting that over and over. Then when I got her deck with the 12 chakras, I was like, okay, now it all makes sense. <laughs> so I say to you guys, you get direct spirit messages and everything else. I love when we get confirmations outside of ourselves, um, you know, that, that yes. And so this is what I mean. You learn a lot. You learn a lot about the ascension process, rays of light, chakras, the details of archangels, Atlantis. Um, so here, your guidance is to ask the unicorns to touch, open, and activate your earth star, base, sacral, navel, all of this, soul star, and then ask the angels to sing over you so that your chakras vibrate at a fifth dimensional frequency. And it's the affirmation is, I awaken my 12 fifth dimensional chakras. Um, there's a lot. I love this. Gold Ray of Christ is the most beautiful card. It's all about unconditional love. Blessings that pour on to you when you choose this card because it's of unconditional love. It is so gorgeous. It's the cosmic heart. I remember, I think this came out in one of the readings. I was shaking. I am the gold ray of Christ. Um, when you do a reading, it's like you're really tapping in um, higher um, Archangel Metatron. It's all of these. Um, Mary Magdalene. Beautiful, beautiful. And the affirmation down below, I maintain my truth and see the spirituality in all things. Um, you resonate with the frequency of the love and the knowledge that's in here, even if you don't even know um, right off the bat some of the terms that she's using. You're, you connect immediately with it. It's almost like a remembrance. It's almost like you finally have a term for something you've experienced or felt. Um, so I find it very confirmational. I find it really uh, like it's a, the Ascension cards. You can really learn a lot. Um, so, and I like how her decks are because this is very no nonsense. I like decks that are just right to the point um, because, you know, you have the one image on the back, the Ascension cards, and here it is the full message, Quan Yin. It is the full message. Quan Yin is the, no mistake with even showing you what's coming up here. It's the master of the 12th ray of unconditional love. She radiates a vibrant pink light of divine feminine energy, love, and compassion. Yes. Kuan Yin is re-empowering women everywhere and bringing forward feminine wisdom in men. She's inviting you to develop your divine feminine qualities, including your healing abilities. Find ways to nurture and empower others in yourself. Give yourself permission to go with the flow and share with everyone for the highest good. And this will subtly affect your stellar gateway chakra and build the I can't even pronounce it, bridge to source, affirmation, I act from my divine feminine wisdom. I have chills, chills, chills. Um, and that is so in line with just the readings that I've been posting on the channel just a moment ago, rise up in the fullness of all you are, claim your personal power. Um, we're all doing that. Um, and this is all about unconditional love on the 12th grade. This is what you learn. This is where you kind of get your confirmations. It's an amazing deck to work with. So this is the Ascension cards. And like I said, this has 52 cards. Um, and it, it, you'll feel like you're working with a higher frequency. It's not It's not the usual Oracle decks that you find. Um, yeah, they're special. They're different. And um, you can learn a lot as well. So then the next one I got, I think I got the keys to the universe and then the orbs. Well, let's do the keys to the universe. He, I'll save the orbs. The orbs actually was really special. The keys to the universe cards. I was really, I saw this, I just saw the image and I just, this spoke to me, just the key with the earth and the key and you're, give, you're bring, given the keys to the universe. Um, Cause I've gotten that on like a side message. So when I just saw this, I don't know, I was instantly pulled to it. You know, when you just follow your intuition. Um, I think these have 50 some fifty cards in here, but I have to say this is different because this is all about high frequency, really high frequency cards, and to the point of there are 144 words on each card, and that in itself is resonating with source. It's a sacred number. Um, it's the thoughts of God and of creation. It's vibrating on that, um, and it's infused with unconditional love. So there are literally 144 words on each card. So talk about you know, really infusing your deck with high frequency energy. Okay, the keys to the universe cards. Um, I love the backs of the cards. Is that just, look at the light. I just, 
I don't know, it almost made me tear up. Like I had a soul reaction to it. I don't know why. Um, but okay, so here we go. <laughs> I'm just giving you the truth of how I experienced my decks. Okay, 50 cards in here. I just thought this was just precious to me. Um, it just felt precious to me and special. And it was like, I, I didn't see the deck anywhere. I just saw the copy and then I bought it. She gives the intro card, how to use the cards. She even gives this key that is just amazing. It's like an overview of the 50 keys and it's like a grid. I'm telling you, you can learn a lot with this. And I love how there's a little key, like she's giving you this magical spiritual key to the universe. So again, that beautiful, I mean, I can't get over the backs of the cards. I don't know why, I just am so moved by it. I think it's so amazing. Um, and here, oh my God, that's so cool. It's here, I love the Babylonians. So you have key, it will say key number nine, the Babylonians, and it will give this whole, you'll learn so much, a whole description about the Babylonians. It will give you the guidance, it will give you an action, and it will give you the key. Work with what nature provides for the greater good and understand and apply the spiritual laws. So you're gonna get like a whole message. I won't bore you with the whole thing, but you get a message, again, on every card. You'll get the guidance, what to do, visualize, an action, and a key. So, I mean, this is just extraordinary work in here. You learn so much. And there are gonna be some things like you won't know. And I, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't even know how to pronounce it, to be honest with you. So it's like you learn so much. This is key number um, 18, I believe, if I can see through the camera. Um, and then it will give you talk, ooh, about the high priestess, how I always refer to us as the high priestess at work. Um, and then you get the guidance, the action, the key, develop intuition and attune to the secret mysteries of the universe. Um, but here, this is a whole history, you know, when Atlantis fell, high priestess Hera took her tribe to New Zealand and they became mystic shamans practicing soul revival, you know, it's retrieval and higher selves of power animals. Um, this is what, it goes into depth, it goes into history, it goes into what she's tapped in and I got I gathered channeled. Um, you know, understanding universe's secrets unlocks the doors when people are ready, helping them develop intuition and connect with the powers of the universe. Um, this is amazing. She overlights all women, helping them link into the right soul to birth and expand their right brain to remember the ancient's wisdom. Yeah, develop intuition and attune to the sacred mysteries of the universe. I'm telling you, it's a lot. When you work with this almost, um, I would say privately, you know, this deck I, I use privately. You know, it's like your own private journey. I mean, each one, it's just like, look, it's mantis. Oh, and she talks about the skulls. She talks a lot about the skulls. She talks about all about the Akashic uh, information. Um, this, a lot of them I did not know. You know, I just did not know, like these particular portals. Um, talking about all these particular portals, but I love how it's also, you get the history message. It's like a message, but the, it's more of a history lesson. And then the guidance, the action, and the key. So you get a reading, but you also learn a lot. Um, so it's really like she's giving you the keys to the universe of, you know, things that you would not know. I mean, the Cosmic Pyramid in Greece, um, the Aztecs, the Elementals Kingdom. You know, some of these things we do have heard, but acknowledge the importance of the Elemental Kingdom, your action, go into nature. So it's giving you guidance, it's giving you action, it's giving you a key message, acknowledge, you know, and the key. I just love it. It's like a divine key being handed to you. There was something about this deck that I just really loved. Again, you will learn like almost the most, I would say, the keys to the universe was just really jam-packed with almost a lot of things I wasn't aware. Oh, I love this one, Ascended Masters. Um, yeah, you are a multi-dimensional being. Part of you is in the third dimension, centered on self. In the fourth, your heart opens and you recognize your soul's eternal journey. In the fifth, you accept mastery and flow with the universe. In the sixth dimension moments, you truly love the planet and all on her. In every soul is at least seventh dimensional, walking with angels and masters. In the eighth or higher, you accept yourself as a cosmic being. Everyone's monad is 12th dimensional, pure, unconditional love, and you connect with this when you open your stellar gateway chakra. The guidance is enfold yourself in transparent white light. Listen to one tap on a crystal bowl. Open your stellar gateway and tune into your monad. Open your heart and live the best you can. And the key is live your truth. I mean, this is what's been going on, but this is what I've been posting. Do you see what I'm saying? You get confirmations. Um, 
and she puts it in a way like I wouldn't have had the, the, the history, but you certainly are getting these messages. Do you see what I mean? Um, we're all talking about rising up in the fullness of all you are, live your truth, and you are ascending your, um, this is just beautiful, sacred geometry. I could go on and on. If you want to see a close-up review of this, I do have it on my channel, everyone. But um, here we have the angelic kingdom. So you will learn so much. Guide, action, key, ask for the highest good. It's just beautiful. This is the keys to the universe. It truly feels very special. It's definitely a higher frequency kind of deck. You're definitely learning more. You're learning about rays of light. You're learning about the ascended masters. You're learning about archangels. You're learning all of this. Um, okay, so the next one, and how many did, uh, cards were in here? Did I say? It, oh, yeah, this is the one. Remember, there were 144 words on each card because that's resonating with source. I mean, it's even that, too. And then we have, it's 50 cards for guidance. Um, just beautiful. And you learn a lot, a lot, a lot. The last one I got was the orbs. I have to tell you something very special. When I did a close-up review of this deck, the orbs, this is all natural pictures that they have gotten that were of actual orbs, of spirit, of light, of spirit in orbs. Sometimes you can see that. Sometimes when you take a picture and after you see a dot... And I was seeing when I did the close-up review that I've never seen an actual orb other than maybe something really small like that, but nothing terrific that you see in this deck because they're multicolored, they're beautiful. And do you know the minute, um, the day later after I posted that close-up review, this is when we were in the height of COVID, I'm in New York, I looked out, I took a picture, there was a beautiful cloud with a ray of light coming out of the cloud, and so I, I was taking a picture of the ray of light coming out of the cloud. And um, all of a sudden, when I looked at the picture, it was the most extraordinary, it's on my channel because I was so excited, an extraordinary orb of multicolored, um, it was like unlike anything I've ever seen. If you scroll on my channel, you'll see the real life picture that I took and I must have been screaming. And then right after that, we had the pandemic went down here, I swear to God. And um, I, this is orbs. Orbs are so magical. So you don't really see it with your clear eye, but if you take a picture, you may see little white things, little rays of light like this, and this is spirit. But then you can also sometimes see just amazing, amazing, amazing different colored kind of orbs. And that's what makes up this deck. There are 44 orbs for photographs in here. Um, featuring many of the archangels and angelic be beings. And this comes with a little booklet. So that's what you're getting. And you can do a reading with this deck. Um, you can also just check out because it's just really cool uh, to see. The only thing I wish that she put down, like where the picture was taken. Um, I knew it was all over the world. Oh, again, she'll go into a lot with Ascended Masters, um, a lot with Archangel Knowledge. You'll learn a lot in here about angels, Archangels, Ascended Masters, absolutely little booklet. But let me show you. So here are some of the orbs. So you have Archangel Michael, Uriel, Amoria, and but I wish it said like where it was taken. Do you know what I mean? Like a date and where it was taken. That would be so interesting and cool to know. Oh, this is the backs of the cards. How pretty is that? Um, really, really pretty. So really special. But see, it's like a heart shape. How adorable is that? Archangel Shamuel and an angel of love photo and it gives a photo credit I just wish it would say like where was that was that taken in you know Belgium in 1972 you know something like that that would have been very cool to see in my opinion but some of these are just extraordinary see you said there's the archangels and their brilliant light look at that that's all the archangels mentioned that you could possibly see and it just looks so beautiful so these are natural photographs that were taken of of orbs um, that she collected from around the world, apparently. I would have loved to see, you know, when and where, like a little, besides the photo credit. But look, um, some of them, here's like a shooting one, an angel of love. She mentions the archangels, archangels. So I won't show you every single one, but I just wanted to give you an idea of uh, the orbs. Let's see if I can get some fantastical. The best one was when it was all the archangels in there. Um, but this was just a very cool deck and you can do a reading with them because she gives you the booklet and it will give you what the message is. There's a number here and you can go into the booklet, Angel of Love, um, Archangel Metatron, look at how gorgeous these are, all these archangels, the brilliant light, here's the little orb. Usually when we get an orb in a photo it looks like that. Um, some of these look like x-rays. <laughs> 
like this one, like, you know, if you're getting like a x-ray or something. Um, but look at how beautiful, Archangel Raphael. Um, yeah, so I gather you would look this up. Uh, it would, it's been a while since I used this deck. Yeah, you go into the number and you can get a message. So see if we got number 27, I just want to say, it says the orbs are giving you a healing. Wow, I can't believe I stopped on this one. Okay, the orb gives you healing and asks you to offer healing to the nature kingdom. You've drawn this card as a reminder to open yourself up to healing from the angels in nature. You're guided today to send healing to trees and plants as well as water and rocks as you do as you do so the great beings of the orbs will work through you so this is beautiful it's giving you healing and you're and you're extending healing out into the earth right now which is what we need and so just really beautiful i love this some of them are more colorful than the other of course i love the really colorful ones this is a really cool one when they're more archangels they're more multicolored um, so yeah, so this was the orbs, but the most magical thing about it was I was just seeing when I did the close-up review on my channel, the most I've ever seen is like this, but then I actually took a picture. It was exquisite. It was multicolored, not a circle, but um, moments after, and then um, after that, we kept on getting a reading that we were getting so much help and support from the archangels and angels, and then all of a sudden I saw the real life orb for the first time, and then we actually had healing. So, um, you know, the, um, the curve went down and, and, you know, we started really getting out of the um, pandemic. We really improved. Anyway, okay, so this has been the overview of Diana Cooper's deck. So Angels of Light, Keys to the Universe, Ascension Cards, and the Orbs Cards. Like I said, this one was like my favorite one. These two, I mean, you could really learn a lot, a lot, a lot with the Ascension Cards and the Keys to the Universe. This you can do in a reading, and it's lighter, it's angels of light messages and guidance. And this is really the ascension cards and the keys of the universe. You really learn a lot about the ascended masters, about archangels, rays of light, helping with the ascension pro uh, process. It's so knowledgeable. Um, and you really do feel like you're connecting to a higher frequency that you are, um, and you also get the terms and the things that you may have even been picking up on but didn't have the terminology for. I found that a lot. I was really pleasantly surprised, actually. It was like, wow, it was confirmations all over the place. And um, so I really, really like that. So yes, yeah, so I wanted to do this deck review and show you the Diana Cooper decks that I do have. And then as soon as I get the Archangel Oracle that's coming out um, in the early part of 2021, I will definitely show you. I can't wait. It's been on pre-order for quite a while. Um, I'll definitely post that as well. And if you wanted to go through every card, um, I have close-up reviews of all of these on my channel already. But I just wanted to show you the decks that I have of hers. And she has more. Uh, you could definitely search around. She has more. But um, these are my favorites. So these are the ones that I personally bought. And she has countless, countless books on the subject as well. All right. So I just wanted to end it here. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.